Hello and welcome to Teal House Farm and I am about to do something that I probably should ask for help with but I'm stubborn and I'm going to try it myself. If you've been watching for a while you'll know that we have a second chicken tractor that has been abandoned way out in our far fields because the chickens are now much closer to the house and I want to take that and turn that into a second what? greenhouse. The first greenhouse is right here. I'm in the process of filling up all of those pots and putting them in for the winter. The chicken tractor out in the field is identical to this structure. It just needs to be wrapped in plastic. Well, it just needs to be wrapped in plastic and moved a quarter mile up here closer to the house. Sam is super busy with work and with taking some online classes and so I don't want to bother him and I am going to do everything in my power to get that thing moved on my own. We'll see what happens. Okay, just a quick mow. It no longer has a pull handle out front. And it does not have wheels. Oh no, it does. Look at that. Wheels. But this stuff is really woody. I don't know what this is. And the lawnmower really won't cut it down. Alright, we're back. Little man is being super fussy today, so he's coming with me. I am going to try to hook up a new pull string on here and just see if I can wiggle it. And if it wiggles at all, we'll try to get little man happy back inside and I'm going to come out and try to give it a big old tug and see if I can move it at all. Worst case scenario is not that it breaks. If it breaks then it meant it's just too broke down from being out here to really be a good greenhouse because I don't want to do all this work and like have a storm come through and break it. Worst case scenario is I get it like pulled out to the street to drag it the rest of the way to the house and it gets stuck in the street. That's what we're trying to avoid. So. I'm hoping the wheels on it are still good and we'll give it a little tuggy tug and once it's out of the weeds it'll move like it used to but I don't know, we'll see. moving that and wait for Sam to get home and we got this really cool um, gift from one of our viewers so thank you to the viewer who wished to remain anonymous for your generosity um, and this is a green stock tower garden and we're gonna put this together and load it up and we're gonna use it in the greenhouse and this is going to be a great addition to our greenhouse it's gonna let us grow a lot of like lettuces and other vegetables but grow them vertically so that we're not taking so much space up on the floor of the greenhouse to to um, grow a lot of food. Um, they have the construction. All right let's see what we got in the box Ivy. Yeah. Take this all out. I'm gonna after this I'm gonna grab a strawberry. There, I don't think there are any left in there. This is a five tier system. I believe it also has a bigger one. I think they have a seven tier. I'll link information about this below if you're interested in looking into this company on your own. 
Um, but basically we have five tiers that we'll plant in and you plant inside the kind of curved parts. And then it has a watering system that uses these trays between each bucket system, which helps uh, evenly disperse water to help prevent um, overwatering. You still can definitely overwater this, but it's a little harder to do. And it also helps make sure it gets watered evenly. And then this top piece is where you put the water in and then it, it flows it down through the system. Ivy is going to help me. I think it makes the most sense to actually build it inside the greenhouse instead of building it out here and then hoping we can fit it through the door. Hey, what are you doing up there? Um, it's obviously leaning just a little bit. I'm gonna get a bungee cord and strap it to the back of the greenhouse because our greenhouse floor is straw, which we need to insulate. It helps keep the cold air from coming in through the floor. It doesn't make it super level. So I think a bungee cord will just give us a little extra protection. So now we just gotta pour water in that top and it should water it on down. No, I cannot move this on my own. And I can't make it a greenhouse here. It's too far away from the water source. I'm not, I can't lug water this far really. I mean, I could, I don't want to. So we're gonna have to ask Sam for help. And uh, that'll have to be another video of us actually pulling it out, but. Gave it the old college try. Just could not get it moved on my own. So Sam pulled it out for me. I actually did not get any video because I figured it would be really hard to get out. Because I figured it would be really hard for him to move because I couldn't even get it to wiggle. So 
I did some chores with the kids and then grabbed the camera and it was already out here. He just pulled it out. I loosened it. But apparently he has some Captain America strength. So thank you to Sam for getting my second greenhouse up here. Now I can get it plasticed tomorrow in the pots inside and it's going to be awesome. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and we'll see you next time.